What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is 15 American phrases that totally confuse Brits. This should be good. interesting. It should be interesting. We're two Brits. Yeah. We get confused easy. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this totally confuses us. We may have heard of some before. Obviously we're a little bit more experienced in this from all the reactions we have done. Maybe we haven't heard of any. We'll see. Smash that button if you want to see more. Smash that subscribe button. So you absolute legends. We'd seriously appreciate it. Uh, helps the algorithm if you comment as well. But don't worry about that if you can't be bothered. Just enjoy the video. That's the most important thing. You legends enjoying it. Uh, new channel. Yeah, we've not checked them out before. Ne never heard of them before, not checked them out. Um, their link's in the description as always. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go, let's see what we've got. 15 American phrases, but totally confused, but it's what we got. EC Dreamers, welcome to a very special video because today I'm joined by my friend, Jess. Hey Jess, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm alright, I'm alright. Jess is from America, but she also has a channel here in London called Love and London. Do you want to quickly tell us? A bit about love in London? Yeah, so we make videos for people who are coming to visit London. So we tell everyone how you can take the tube and what restaurants you should go to and things you should know and before it. you come mm -hmm. here. And we specialize in things that are a bit off the beaten path. So we're always trying to talk about cool restaurants and independent shops and things like that. It's very cool. Really worth checking out, guys. Now, Jess is from... Which part of America are you from? I'm from New York. Okay, okay. so I've brought her in to help me. You can hear that well. little bit of a... New York accent. I mean, now now she said it, I wouldn't be able to tell you where she was from before. Me as well. But when she said New York, I kind of heard mm. like New York. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm getting good at accents. I was quite good actually, weren't I? I think I was quite good. <laughs> American phrases that I don't understand and most Brits don't understand. And I thought maybe Jess could help us translate some of them. Happy to. So the first one I have is Monday morning quarterback. What does this mean? Ooh, so, Monday morning. I feel like I've heard this before. So have I, but what does it mean? Oh, I'm going to say this is having a coffee on a Monday morning to no, get you Monday going. No, I Monday morning quarterback means like... <laughs> you said like, I think it, it means... means oh, wait, like... I don't know. I think it's a coffee to this. get you going. Let's Come on, let's go. Yeah, I reckon the coffee does that. Do so you think it's a... Yeah, it's... The kickstart. Okay. Oh, okay, so a quarterback is a position in American football. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me more than that because I don't actually know what it means <laughs> beyond that. But basically, that phrase means to... When someone's coming in and giving advice or giving their opinion on something, when it's already happened. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, okay, well, you have the privilege of hindsight now. Oh, okay. Um, so kind I'd of never guess that. So the quarterback is a position in American football... And they're the one that dictates what to do. I think they tell everyone, oh, you know, you go this way, you go that way. So I guess it's that, but you're doing it in a different context. In hindsight. Yeah. After the event. Like oh. the game's already over. So uh -huh. it's kind of like if you're playing, if people are watching or they have watched a football game here and then people are at the pub and they're like, oh, you should have gone that way and should have did this right. and did that one. It's like, well, that's not really that helpful, is it's it? It's really <laughs> annoying. Oh, <laughs> so to money more than about someone, it's actually really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I mean, I am a frustrated, like, why have you not done that? <laughs> the annoying thing to do. Aha. Okay. It is we don't annoying. have that same phrase, but <laughs> excellent. All right, our next one, uh, bang for your buck. Oh, that oh, is a good deal. Getting, getting good money. Definitely. Yeah, like we say, what do we say? I don't know, but I've definitely heard bank people. Or bank for dollar. Bank for pound. No, bank for pound doesn't ring off no. a bell. I've definitely heard a bank for book before. Getting your money's worth. Getting say. your money's worth is a British example. I assume you guys say getting your money's worth. Let us know in the comments below. What is right. This so buck is slang for dollar. Yes. Kind of like how we say quid here. Mm. Um, and so when you say something has good bang for your buck, it means that it's good value, basically. Ah, okay. All right. So uh, I might say like this flat is good bang for your buck. Yep. Is it means right? I'm paying um, a good price compared to maybe other places around the area. Oh, all right. Nice. <laughs> okay. This is a classic one that I hear and I've never really understood it. Okay. To plead the fifth. Plead the fifth of fifth amendment, pledge of allegiance. It's the amendment, isn't it? Yeah. Home of the brave. What does this mean? Right. So the fifth is an amendment in the constitution. Oh, it's not pledge of allegiance. Really getting into my history. Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay. Politics uh -huh. knowledge here. Yeah. Um, Wait, isn't the fifth where you don't have the speak. I said. I said the. So I said the amendment to be fair. So you don't. Um, is it? Um, but the fifth, isn't it? Um, like so you don't have to speak if you. Speak. No, do you know if you get? I may be wrong on this, but I think it's when you get like I could get called up to court. Like there's a court case going on, yeah, and I've witnessed it. But if I give my evidence, it could put me in jail as well. So I can plead the fifth. So I don't have to go up there. I'm no pretty sure that's it. 
I may, maybe, maybe not. Where you basically can stay silent. Yeah. Um, so there we go. In court, you can say that you plead the fifth, which means you actually don't have to answer any questions. Um, and this is in various different parts of the ju- judicial process. So people will say, like, if you if I ask you a question and you like sheepishly don't want to answer it, you'll be like, I plead the fifth. Ah, uh, okay. So we can use it in just like a really informal context. Yeah, exactly. So okay. as like a teenager, if your mom was like. Where have you been? You could be like, I plead the fifth. Yeah, I probably did that one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, that's a really cool phrase. I like that one. I plead. He pleads the okay. fifth. All right. Okay, this one, uh, I've heard a few times. Okay. John Hancock. Wait. Oh, we've heard this. We had this in our video, John Hancock. Oh, we've had this before. I have no idea what it means. Oh, and I had no clue what it meant until when it said it, and I was like, oh, wow. And then, why can't I remember it? John Hancock. Oh. I've got no idea. I'm going to go with like a rain check or something like that. I don't think it is that, but I'm going to go with something like that. What is it, John Hancock? Yeah. Or who is John Hancock? So, John Hancock, again, this is really going into my history knowledge. So, he was one of the founding fathers, if I remember correctly, of the United States of America. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and Just when say, she say... said the United States of America. They say all the Americans say the United States. I see United States, but yeah. yeah. Uh, in what would you say? What an informal term for Britain. Sorry, we're, this is our life. Yeah, we're, baby, we're baby boys in the way of the screen. <laughs> John Hancock, it's slang for a signature because I think he was potentially the first person to sign the Constitution okay. Okay. in the US. Rings a bell. It rings a bell. Yes. Oh. So, um, yeah, if someone says, I need your John Hancock, it means I need your signature. Aha, uh-huh. so can you put your John Hancock just there? For example, it, to me, it sounds like a euphemism for something else. But... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, <know. laughs> but... I get that. <laughs> okay, but okay, John Hancock. A great question for you. A New York minute. Ooh, I feel like like a hot minute. Like I don't know, it's been a long, a long, a quick minute. Maybe I think, I think quick minute because it's like it's this day that never minute. sleeps. It's just ongoing, constant. Quick minute. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh, that was a quick minute. Right. So. What is a New York minute? Yeah. So New York, it, everyone knows it's hustle bustle. Everything mm. is going so fast. So when you say something um, happened in a New York minute, it just means very, very quickly, basically in a moment, Gosh. just flashes before your eyes and then goes. Uh, okay. Because everything is just moving so quickly there. It's like, oh, yeah, just five exactly. months in a New York um, So maybe like, would you say, for example, like, um, uh, yeah, how far, how far is the pub from here? Like, oh, it will take you a New York minute to get there. Yeah, and it would okay. mean like it's basically across the road. Okay. Okay. So. Not, not far at all. Um, do you have other minutes? Is there like, is there a Texan minute? Is there a, you know, is there like a, a Boston minute? Not that I know of, but I would say if there was, it would definitely be something down south that it would be the opposite because it's everything's much slower Smaller down relaxed. south, uh, like, like Texas, Florida. Like a Louisiana minute. Yeah, exactly. Would be like a really yeah. slow, yeah. chilled minute. I like the sound of that. Yeah, this is one again I've never really understood um, at college or university, as we would say. You have different years, so like sophomore is a word I've heard, um, and freshman as well. Yeah, yeah. Just, they're just different years. I yeah. always get these confused. What are these? Yeah, so most um, universities, you go for four years, depending mm-hmm. on what degree you're doing, but most will take four years. And then so if you're a freshman, that means you're in the first year. Mm-hmm. Then Fresh. there's sophomore, which is second year, juniors, third year, and then your final year is your senior year. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So you have a yeah, specific name school. for each year. Yeah. Okay. Senior year. So freshman, I guess we translate as fresher. We have that. Yes. But then we don't, we do three years here, so we don't have you just second year and third year. And you don't have anything for the last one, even? No. Mm, final year. Third year. Yeah, well, final, year. Year, final right? year. Yeah, yeah, no, we don't. Um, and then obviously, like, once you've graduated, you are a grad, so you have, like, all post grad. Um, but yeah, the sophomore one, I've never, I've never understood that ever. Yeah. Sophomore, okay. Yeah. It's very, in the US, you always call each other by that you would never ever say i'm in my second year or my third year you'd always Mm. say i'm a sophomore and it's also a little bit of an identifying factor where it's like oh my god we're like we're all sophomores cool or Uh like we're all freshmen and like oh my god cool you're freshmen that's so cute like we're seniors and Ah. it's it's constantly used is it um reduced down it's sort of a freshie are you a freshie or anything like that or is it like a not that I remember, but it's been a long time since I've been at university, <laughs> so maybe some. Yeah, let us know the comments if it has, but uh, you hear all the time movie, yeah. don't you? Freshman, sophomore. Oh, senior, yeah. Senior. I'd never known, but it makes sense. Mm-hmm. It does make sense. I'll chime in in the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. Ah, to knock on wood. Now, I heard this phrase the first. Thing-
Knock on wood. Uh, good luck. Touch wood. Oh, oh love, lovely that. No, no, um, I meant this wood like for brain. Like good. I thought it was a good term. No, uh, like touch wood means that your brain's hollow. Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, love, thank, <laughs> oh, knock. You go. Oh, touch wood. Oh, because it's hollow. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna go with try and get some good luck. Can I say it's a knock on wood? Like I'm just I'm thinking. Don't know. Don't know. Mm, no, I think. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like too many things are going through my head. <laughs> what? Why are you going through your head? I don't know. Head I like, oh. Was um, a band. Um, who I'm blanking on now, but they're so- they had a song called Every Time I Knock on Wood, da, 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 something else. Okay. And I was like, well, I don't know what that means. So what does it mean? <laughs> Translate it for me. That's funny because I feel like I've heard that my entire life. Uh, basically, it means to not, you don't want to jink something. So if you're like, oh, okay. Uh, touch, touch wood. It is literally touch what we would say. Touch yeah. wood. Keep that. Oh, touch wood. Knock on wood. Oh, okay. That does make sense. Do you guys say touch wood as well? Because we just say touch wood to not jinx. Yeah. You're getting a promotion next week. And then hopefully, and then you go like knock on wood, and then you're supposed to go find a piece of wood, and you go knock, 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 and um, it's like I don't want to jinx it, so hopefully it's still happening. Oh, it's so like for luck. Yeah. Uh, uh, kind of for luck. It's maybe not luck. No, not not quite luck. It's it's just that you like don't want to jinx something, so you don't if you're talking about it or you're like I've never been in a car accident before. Knock on wood. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah. All right, so that translates for us is like to touch touch wood. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. Yeah, you guys say that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, makes total sense to me. Um, another phrase uh, for the birds. Mm. Oh, I feel like in the UK, I'll be like, oh, for the birds, it'll be girls, won't it? No, I don't think. That's... No, I feel like a lad phrase. If I ever heard for the birds, that's what I'd assume. I won't think it's for actual flat yeah. birds. I think that's just a immature boy thing. No, but I, that's why I'd assume if I yeah. heard that. I, I would go straight for animals. Animal, what do you go straight for? Mm. I've seen there's a Pixar film thing, called though, For the Birds. No, that's just a... I've never heard anyone in Jersey say that. Say birds for girls. Yeah, I don't think it's that common. I mean, okay. it's just, I mean, it's just a lad thing, I think. So I've seen, but again, I didn't get the reference. I didn't... What, what's, what does it mean? Yeah, I've not heard this one too many times. I've never used it, but it basically means that it's like pointless or useless. So oh, okay. you could yeah. say like, um, this uh, seminar that sounds, is sounds so rude of the... your concept. <laughs> Birds, like, let's just go. <laughs> this seminar? <laughs> You're not listening. Not this one. <laughs> no. Other ones, other ones. Okay, okay, so just useless, like no point in it. Yeah. Huh, okay, I'd love to know the... If anyone knows the, sort of the etymology of that, why... This phrase exists, let us know in the comments below. Okay, our next one, we're rattling through these. Uh, to be behind the eight ball. Ooh. Eight ball? I feel like this... Eight ball pool. Yeah, it's like eight ball. Behind the eight ball, I'm going to be like... Um, you've got a deadline, for example, mm. and you're behind the eight ball. Like, oh, you're really stressed and rushing to get it done. Okay. You're behind. What about that, I guess? I'm not sure, but I'm going to go if it means something positive. It might do, it could do. Um, an eight ball is from pool, right? Yeah. The, the black ball, I think it is. Yeah, which is the last one you want to get in when you're playing pool. Right. Okay. Pool, pool pro here. <laughs> um, so, again, this one I've not really heard that much, uh, but basically it means that you're, because if you, in pool, if you're behind the eight ball, you're at a disadvantage because right. you mm -hmm. don't want to knock the eight ball because of various reasons and you don't want it to go in the hole. So, um, it may, that saying basically means that you're at a disadvantage okay. and you don't want to do that. Makes sense. Okay. All right. Okay. Interesting. So, uh, maybe if I'm like, I'm training to, in a, for a race mm -hmm. and maybe like I haven't been training as long as some other people, then I could say like, I'm a bit behind the eight so ball. So you, okay. yeah. when you did the island walk, you were behind the eight ball. So I didn't train. Yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. Yeah. To these guys. I think it would be, that might work, but I think it's more of that you would say like, um, I've sprained my ankle, so now I'm behind the eight ball. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Okay, makes sense. Okay, another one. Uh, the whole nine yards. This Ooh, one. The whole nine yards. It's football, isn't it? Nine yard football. I, the football pitch is in... Yards, but I don't know what nine yards has to do anything. Uh, you got to go ten yards oh. every play. Um, <laughs> <Made that up. laughs> I'm guessing fin go go to the end with something. Yeah, the you whole thing. Thick with it, yeah. yeah. I'm going the whole nine it. yards, like you're doing something. Someone's like, oh, give it a break. No, I'm going the whole nine yards, yeah. sticking to, to the finish end. Finish something, I think. Definitely. Um, rings a bell. Yeah, I feel like God. I've heard this 
I guess loads, but I don't know if I've used it in a very long time. I have been here for 10 years though. So I mm. think sometimes like I forget and I've lost a lot of the, the isms mm -hmm. um, and I picked up obviously some of the English ones. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the whole nine yards basically means like everything. So <sighs> I'll say Four. sometimes, That's two. Um, yeah. So we like got this, this yeah, and got, this, like, yeah, through. we did everything. We did the whole nine yards or got the whole nine yards and, okay. um, yeah, just like kind of means that like, we did it all. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe, um, you know, I'm thinking like at Christmas time, houses, some people like to decorate the houses, then there's one house that's just like lit up, just decorations everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's the whole nine yards, yep. right? Yeah, that's yeah. Everything. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice phrase. Okay, we've got a few more. Um, ooh, this one, um, broil. Broil. Is that, is that not the, oh, uh, I sound really stupid, or oh, might be braille. Where if you're blind, braille. it's braille. I'm thinking braille where you're blind and then you, you, touch. Can, you feel it and it's like maybe the American version is braille. Maybe. What's your guess? Um, I don't want to guess. I don't know what braille could be. <laughs> uh, maybe I feel like it sounds too much like boil for me to think about. Yeah, it sounds so much like braille, so I'm going with braille. I've heard this word, and again, we've got the word boil. Is it not broil or broth? Boil. Yeah. I don't know. So this has actually confused me for until recently because. I was, I would talk to my parents about things I would be making here um, and using recipes here and they would be like, grill, like you don't have a grill. And I'd be like, no, there's like the grill setting on the oven and I use that. And mm. My parents are like, I don't get what that means. But broil is the same thing as grill here. Okay. Oh, okay. And so it's a setting on the oven there as well. Yeah, okay. the way you described it earlier, it was like, you know, the one with the fire. That <laughs> yeah, that so, oh yeah, that, the, yeah. The, the, <laughs> Zigzag line at the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, grill. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I, I'm going to broil this chicken rather than grill this chicken. Yeah. Okay, yeah. makes sense. I, I'd like to do y'all. Oh y'all, hello. Y'all. Yeah. How's it going, y'all? Yeah. Give us a y'all. It's not hello. You say how? Hello, oh yeah, how you all? It's not hello, sorry. You all, yeah. How y'all doing? Everybody, yeah. Hello, y'all. How you doing? Oh, that's actually quite good. I think that was quite good. Can we do? I think it was. Yeah. Because that's a that's a word that we do not have here, and I hear it a lot. And I very southern. Of, yeah, I kind of understand it, but yeah, how would yeah. you use it? So I mean, y'all is just short for you all, mm -hmm. and you, anytime you want to say you all, you just say hey y'all instead of hey you all. I guess people don't really say hey, you all as much, but mm. it's very very common in. Um, the southern part of the U.S. Okay. and it's like you just hear it all the time and it's kind of if I ever go to the south of the U.S. people are always saying it and it kind of like gets in my head and then I'll be like start saying it I'm like no I'm from New York I live in London I'm not allowed to say it oh really so yeah. like someone from New York just wouldn't say y'all no uh, okay yeah. it's a southern thing but it's kind of charming too I think so yeah. you've said it but I definitely yeah you've definitely said it or do you, do you even put it in messages sometimes like hey y'all Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Republic, yeah. To be to be fair, I think like people will do it like for fun if they're mm. not from the south and just kind of to um instead of being like, Hey ya or something like that, it's like, Hey y'all. Yeah. But I, I think there are definitely those words where you feel like you're being quite playful and you're not necessarily from that region or whatever. Like there's a few Scottish words I use where it's like, Okay, I'm not Scottish, but it's fun to say like like we for small. Oh I do you really for Scotty. No, no, no mind, no mind. A yeah. wee bit. It's like <laughs> it's just a fun. It's almost entertaining yourself yeah. when you're saying these words. So yeah, cool. All right, I think I think that's everything. I think we've we've done a lot. Jess, thank you so much. That was good. Yeah, it was Thanks good. That uh, some new ones in there, not heard of some. Like that John Hancock really annoyed me because I've that's heard cool. that before. I remember its signature now. Oh, I couldn't believe I couldn't remember I it. Uh, but we can't remember everything. We do watch a lot of videos. Hope you guys enjoyed though. If you did, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. If these guys have any more videos you want to check out, let us know in the comments below. Anything else to add? No, it was good. It was nice to see fresh faces. Definitely, definitely. What should we do? Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you legends in the next one. Peace.